Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you didn't already know, I did in fact break my wrist. I did it while rollerblading and I did explain the whole story on Instagram if you guys missed it, but basically I'm super, super lucky that it's a very minor break and I did not need a cast. All I have is this brace. But while it's healing, I still plan to be very active and continue to do my workouts. So today I wanna to share with you guys the workouts that I've been doing lately and how I am staying fit with a broken wrist. <laughs> Upper body is one of my favorite things to train, so it is quite a bummer that I can't do it for a while, but this did force me to go outside of the body and think about things that I can actually train without any hands at all. So I came up with cardio, including lots of hit, abs, and lower body that doesn't involve holding actual weights. To make up for not having weights, I'm obviously gonna use resistance bands a lot when doing lower body, but I can also use machines that the gym has, so like leg press, the like hip thrust machine, and I can even do deadlifts actually with a bar because I can hold things directly downwards with my hand. I don't know how to explain it, I can just do it, don't know why. It is really hard for me to film at my gym though because it is so crowded so footage there will be minimal but I definitely will film all the workouts that I'm doing at home and at the gym in our complex. Right now I'm really into YouTube follow along workouts. I just think they're so much fun and force me to step outside my comfort zone. I love that I can do them anywhere, especially in the beginning of the week when my gym is extremely crowded and equipment is always taken. Today I switched it up and did a dance cardio workout. I'm not sure if I've ever even done one of these on YouTube before, but I love that MadFit uses real music and not just that copyright free stuff because it makes it so much fun to jam out to and even sing along. But don't let the dancing fool you, this workout had me seriously sweating. Something I noticed the week after I took off working out right after my wrist broke was that I wasn't getting as tired at night before bed. This was causing me to lay awake in bed for hours before actually falling asleep and I felt so much more tired in the morning because I just wanted to sleep in. My body was so used to working out almost every day that I didn't know what to do with all the extra energy I was no longer burning. That's when I knew I wanted to get back into my workouts as soon as possible and my wrist didn't even hurt at all as long as it was in a brace. So I was good to go. It makes me feel short. I feel like I'm not very far from the ground when I stand up. I feel like a cheat switching sides. I've only done this one for five seconds. It actually works with a broken wrist. I'm shocked. Some of the HIIT workouts require lots of arm movements though, so sometimes I need to just keep my left arm at my side or else it kind of feels like it's swelling up a bit. It might just be because it's in a tight, hot brace though. You're kidding, I can't do that one. Skip. Next one. Oh, this is not gonna work. Before this, I was doing lots of cardio machines and treadmill sprints, which are all great methods of exercise, but I was really getting tired of it fast. The HIIT workouts I've been doing get me seriously sweating, and the point in my workout where I'd normally quit because I'm getting tired, I now push past because I basically have a coach encouraging me to keep going. Sounds like I'm farting. Uh, uh, there, there it goes. Uh, okay. So overall, I think these videos are giving me a better workout than I would normally give myself. Not filmed are two workouts that I did at the gym, one of which was a leg workout, and I think this was the hardest lower body session I've done at the gym in a long time. My quads hurt so badly, I literally couldn't even do a regular squat. Thanks, Heather Robertson. About to leave. Already packing. I'm still going on my weekly Saturday morning walks. It's just so refreshing to sleep in after a long week at work, make a hot cup of tea in the morning, take a stroll while the air is still a little bit brisk, which won't last for long at this point since we're halfway through February. Saturdays are usually my active rest day with a walk and maybe some light stretching, which I especially needed today because my quads were literally demolished after that leg workout in the middle of the week. Even though my workouts have changed, I haven't changed what I eat. After the last time I tracked my calories, I finally decided it's just not for me. As soon as I would try to tell myself that I had to restrict and can only eat a certain amount, my body just craved everything. I'm just not the kind of person that can be disciplined enough to track every single item I eat, but if that works for you, that's amazing. You do you. And if it doesn't, just know that that's not the only option out there to achieve your goals. Scientifically, yes, you do need to eat a calorie deficit to lose weight, but losing weight is no longer my goal and it honestly hasn't been for a while. Now, would I like to lose a little bit of body fat while maintaining 
maintaining my muscle? Absolutely, but at the end of the day, I just wanna focus on keeping myself healthy and doing what makes my body feel good. So today, that just happens to be banana protein pancakes and sushi. Not breakfast without sausage. Girl! <laughs> Why are you being a nut job? Princess? Hi. Hello. Did you just want some pets? I'm no longer telling myself I can't and instead saying I can and I will. We only have one life and we're living it now, so why spend any of that time doing something you don't really want to be doing? The things I'm doing now and the changes I've made are because these are the things that I want to be doing and how I enjoy spending my time. I want to look forward to a workout. I want to be excited about my next meal, not dreading what I'm about to do next with the sole purpose of thinking it will get me results. With everything going on in the world right now, I'm so lucky that my gym is still open, but today I decided to take my workout outside. Not only is it better than a crowded gym, but this way I get to enjoy the fresh air and the slight breeze honestly dries my sweat, which is definitely a plus. Often when I'm at the gym, I can't take my eyes off the clock and I constantly think about how long I've been working out for. I put so much pressure on myself to do a 60 minute workout every time, but sometimes I'm just not feeling it or I feel like I've run out of moves to do and I just wanna be done. But recently I've realized that time doesn't matter and it's the effort that you put in. You can smash out an amazing workout in 20 minutes with no equipment at all. All it takes is a change in mindset. With doing most of my activities indoors, I honestly just forget about how beautiful the world is sometimes. After I did some abs, I laid down on my mat and just looked up at the sky at these beautiful clouds and just thought I could stay here forever. We only get clouds about two months a year in Arizona, so I've really grown to appreciate them. Then I was craving some dumplings for dinner, so that's exactly what I had. Who doesn't love dumplings? They are just so delicious. This time when I went to the gym, I saw a squat rack was open, which by the way, almost never happens to me. I thought about it and figured since the bar is on my shoulders, I actually don't need my wrist. So I attempted my first heavy weighted squat since the rollerblading accident. They actually went so well and I felt just as strong as I remembered, probably from that Heather Robinson workout, let's be honest. And I even did some weighted lunges. When you have an injury like this, it's important to listen to your body and do what feels comfortable. And I felt so comfortable doing these and I was so happy about it. At this point, my wrist has been healing for about two and a half weeks and I'm really getting used to these YouTube workouts. I usually have to skip over a few moves throughout each video because they involve your hands like burpees or something, but I usually make up for it by doing a different exercise while the person does those or I just do an extra video at the end like an ab blaster or something. This day I felt really bloated so it was so nice to get a good sweat in. <sighs> I've also been ending almost all of my workouts with an ab circuit, which I did after this. Pizza! And Boo got double the pepperoni! Look at the puppy crust! Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous! We always need buffalo to dip the crust. So that's everything I'm doing right now with a broken wrist. Like I said earlier, I'm very fortunate that it's a very minor break and it's already healing very quickly. I already use my hand for most things while it's still in the brace. The hardest thing right now is just opening jars. That one's difficult. <laughs> right now, I'm just trying to sweat my butt off, eat foods that make me happy, and take care of my body. Because at the end of the day, all we really have is our health. So just take care of yourself and do what feels good for you. Oh,